Welcome back to another video on my channel. And finally, it's back. Cordoba's dream is back. Uh, I haven't uploaded it for a few days because the game file did corrupt, but I played all the games that I uh, they get up to off camera, and it's sort of still the same. You know, I'm top of the league with 64 points, and Atletico are in second, Barcelona in third, Real Madrid fourth, and so on. So going into the game 26, where I was going to do, obviously, the day after making the last episode, but obviously the game corrupted, so, you know, that's why it's been quite a long time since... Uh, this has been uploaded, but we're going to get into the first game of this episode. I'm playing Getafe, I don't play any play field, whatever I'm angry fans, the only player I can use is Abel Gomez. Uh, so, uh, playing Getafe now in this match, so hopefully we can maybe keep this episode unbeaten. Uh, you know, we're just picking up wins and draws, which would be pretty nice. I mean, if we do lose, we're still going to be top of the league, but uh, we're going to have a little bit of pressure. To deal with, we're going to have to deal with some pressure from the teams below us. I'd like Atletico, who are also in, on some good form as well. Now the league isn't exactly as it was before the game corrupted, but you know it's pretty much it's pretty much the same. The same. Now all the games were still the same. I'm, I I'd say now I'm just a, a few points clear than I originally was before the game failed corrupt. So it won't happen again, which is nice. But uh, you know. Things happen, and this did happen. So I hope you did actually, guys, enjoy yesterday's video, which was Hybrid Wars of Miguel. Um, and that's going to be a daily, not a daily, sorry, a uh, every Saturday video. Me, me and Miguel are going to get, you know, record a video together, and you know, try and make a squad in seven minutes, like we did yesterday. But uh, that obviously has a completely different video. Now we're, we're going to go into the second game of the episode. We did manage to win that game, nine points clear ahead of Barcelona. We're playing Malaga now, who are nineteen. So. We should be able to win this game, but I'm not going to say anything. We've lost a few games this season uh, to teams who aren't as high as in the table as us. But hopefully we should be able to comfortably beat Malaga, who are struggling in this uh, uh, little run I'm doing with Cordoba, obviously. And the objective of this run is to get a nice top 10 finish for them, because they were relegated this year from La Liga. They finished bottom of the league on 20 points. So I decided to give them a, good a goodbye from La Liga for now anyway, by uh, doing a little run with them. Uh, and this is going pretty well, to be honest. We're doing, we're quite we're comfortable inside the top ten. So, you know, I'm enjoying doing this, and also enjoying doing the unbeaten Arsenal uh, little run I'm doing as well. So, I hope you guys are enjoying that as well. But this game is full of goals. Four goals being scored so far by both respective team, but we managed to get back in the lead now, three two with ten seconds remaining, and we are doing pretty. Well, we're going to try and hopefully hold hold on to the lead, but it looks like I can't, and it looks like we're going to be just sharing points. With Malaga, which is okay, but I did really want to pick up a win against them. But we are seven points clear going into the next game of the episode. We're playing David Moyes' team now, ex Man United manager, obviously. Uh, Real Sociedad, they are using Carlos Vela, a really talented Mexican right midfield. They used to play for Arsenal. Fun fact about him, obviously, a lot, a lot of you know, and he's actually quite a good player, and he, I reckon he could be moving, uh, yeah, you know, to a big, bigger team in the coming years, but. Onto this video's uh, terms now. We are losing 1 0 to Real, Real Sociedad. And uh, I'm not sure what to do by here. So they push him in, sadly. Now, I'm thinking about doing maybe reacting to my old videos video again. I did do this a few weeks ago. But I'm thinking about maybe doing it in again now. From concentrating on videos from like maybe 2012, I was looking through them all. And there were some embarrassing ones. So maybe you guys would like to see that. If you would, then obviously let me know in the comment section below. Obviously, I want to concentrate on finishing Cordoba's dream and beating Arsenal. And obviously, we've got that uh, Saturday series now with Miguel, which has started up. So, you know, there's still things that can uh, be f fitted in my schedule of making videos. Now that exam season is sort of, sort of coming to an end, I'm finding more time to make these videos. But going on to round 29 of the season, we have Atletico Madrid. They are in second place with 62 points. So a bit of a big game. They beat us, you know. Then they closed the gap, and with their first attack, uh, out of the tour, I'm one of their best players, one of my favourite players with Atletico Madrid, uh, makes it 1-0. Arguably, in my opinion, as being Turkish, one of the best Turkish players uh, in Turkish football, uh, in football right now. He's done so, so well since he's with Galatasaray, and he's done a really good job at Atletico Madrid. And he's quite favoured by Simeone as well, which is nice to see. I know he did uh, throw his boot at... A uh, linesman, I think it might have been. I'm not sure why. I don't know the full details, but that was quite funny. But you know, despite that, I don't know, it's a little cracking player in my opinion. And uh, let me know if you do support Atletico Madrid. You know, what is your favorite? Who's your favorite player? I know they got a lot of good players like Koke, Mandzukic, 
most notable ones anyway. But if you guys do get one of you guys do support Atletico, then let me know, you know, what player you, is your favourite. Obviously, I'm quite fond of watching Adel Torans from when he used to be Galatasaray, so I would say I would say is as Arda, but personal preference, I guess. But we do draw that game with them, which is which is okay. You know, we don't drop many points, and we've actually only got eight games left, I think now. And going into round thirty of the season, we're playing team right to the bottom of the league. That is Deportivo La Coruña, but I'm pretty sure they did stay up as well this year. So fifty-two seconds left. Uh, nil nil in this game. Hopefully, we can pick up a win. As I did drop points in that game, not not that it really matters. We got a nice lead at the top of the league anyway. So, a little quite close. I'm just trying to go for some far, sort of further away shots than normal. Trying to get a little goal. I don't really want to ruin anything because it would be pretty, pretty pretty embarrassing if I was to lose to Deportivo. Because you know, right at the bottom of the league. I know, obviously, early on in the episode, they draw to Malaga. But it's better than not than losing, in my opinion. So, 2-0 up. So, we're doing pretty well in this game. And uh, they've yet to score, which is nice. Hopefully, we're going to be finally able to keep a clean sheet. We've been letting Ingles left, right and centre recently. So, it'd be nice to get a clean sheet. Uh, and I'll, I'll let you know how many goals I've scored at the end of this game as well. Because I haven't done that in a while. But, we round off this game really well. And we beat them 4-0. And we are still top of the league then. We are 75 points. We've won, we've won 24 games, drew 3 and lost 3. That's 115 goals. You can see the 37, which is pretty nice. Because it's the least amount in the league, which is... Nice to see as well. So, going into the 31st game of this, ep well, not this episode, of this season, we are playing Elche in, in where are they 10th, which is pretty good. I thought it would be much lower down the league. Right, so going into the game against Elche, pretty important game for us. You know, they are in 10th, so they're doing pretty much much better than I assumed they were, were going to be doing. I know they got two good players. I've said this before. They've got Wellington Silver on them from Arsenal. I think he's now gone back, and I'm not entirely sure. And they've got a right back who are quite fond of. His name is Michel so, uh, or Misha, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but they're the two players that I'm quite fond of, of Elche, and I think they stayed up this year. I'm not entirely sure. They might have gone down. Uh, I think Aiba might have went. I know Almera and Cordoba did, but the season has finished. I think it could have been Elche or Aiba who got relegated. And obviously Cordoba did and Almeria, but I'm not entirely sure who, who was the third team to get relegated. That was a very awful goal to score, but I guess we had. there was nothing else I could have really done. As he'd sort of uh, just stood there and said, you know, score against me. Uh, so this has been a quite a successful episode. We've done pretty well. We, we drew, which was all right. And we won a couple of games here and there, which is pretty nice. And I'm glad to see that Cordoba's dream is now back. And uh, hopefully we're going to be finishing it in the coming days. So that was game 31 of the season. Going into the final game of the episode now, then we are playing Villarreal. Uh, and they are using Giovanni Dos Santos. Now, I think they normally do use him for some reason. I, I don't know if he's the only player that they can use. I might have to check that out. But, obviously, Giovanni used to play for Tottenham, if you do remember, uh, back then. Uh, and was actually quite good at Tottenham, but now he's at Villarreal and uh, doing quite well for himself, uh, if I have to say so myself. So, 40 seconds remaining in this game. This will be the last game of the episode, and we are uh, now com now winning 2-1. I was just going to say comfortably, but obviously it's only 2-1. And uh, we're not we're not really comfortable yet. There's only a one goal lead, but we are eight points clear of Barcelona going into this game, so it could possibly be stretched up to or over ten points again, depending on Barcelona results and our results. But it looks like we're we're going to be able to win win this game, pick up another three points as Villarreal did score an own goal, I think, just them. And uh, we've just made it a, a, for sure now that we're going to win this game uh, by making it four one. And uh, Giovanni wants to make it 5-1, and then we win the game 5-1. So there you go. We are uh, comfortably ahead of Barcelona now in second. We are, have 81 points. We've got 122 goals and conceded 38. If we had a two matches, which is pretty nice. Now, at the start of the next episode, we'll be playing Athletic Bilbao. They are sitting in fifth place, and uh, we've only got a few games left. And so maybe the next episode could be the, off the final episode of Cordoba's Dream. And it looks like we're definitely going to be on, on course to finish uh, this, uh, you know, uh, series. Of, I was I wanted to fi be finished in about five or six episodes. So thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, drop a like and drop a like on the, on this video as well. If you are looking forward to the next part, which is going to be the final part, hopefully. So have a nice rest of your Sunday. Please drop a like if you're new around here, and if you're new around here, also subscribe. I appreciate that big time. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and uh, see you for the final part. Bye bye.